Sam Robson, huge congratulations, your second century of the summer. You must be delighted with that knock today. Yeah, really pleased. Um, yeah, just any time you get 100 um, at Lords, it's, it's a special day. And I think, yeah, with the, what was sort of required, we needed to bat well today um, with the follow-on and, and whatever sort of been the main, um, main objective. And, yeah, it was a good day, good day for us all. Solid start to things last night. We closed, I think, on 62 for one, I think it was. Um, if you could have written the blueprint for this morning, it probably would have gone exactly like that, really, yourself and Max piling on the runs. Um, how much pressure does it take off yourself that um, Max has found a bit of consistency and a bit of form early this early this season? Yeah, it takes, I think, yeah, the fact that, you know, generally most of us are in Nick at the moment, um, it does, it takes a bit of pressure off. Um, as you say, yeah, it was good to have a good start last night, I think, particularly after fielding for, for so long. Um, you know, you want to get out there and... and you know, get to your work straight away, and it was good to sort of get get the 60 for one last night. But then, yeah, to carry on that that on this morning, I thought Robinson bowled really well um, first thing, and which we sort of expected. And yeah, they kept coming and trying really hard. So yeah, it was pleasing to get through that first session. And then, yeah, it was it was a good day at the office for everyone. It's a quality Sussex attack we're facing here. You mentioned Ollie Robinson. Obviously, you've got Jaden Seals as well, who to this point was the leading wicket taker in the division. Does that make the century all the more pleasing that it's against the real quality attack? Yeah, it does. I think, yeah, you always, it doesn't matter who's playing, you want to do well and you want to do your best and and whatever, and particularly for some myself, try and get through the new board, do the hard yards and then try and make hundreds. So, yeah, you always want to do that, but definitely when you come up, come up across, a, sorry, across a uh, an attack like that with, yeah, some real real quality, it's, it's very satisfying. So, yeah, pleasing. You mentioned the objective of the day was first and foremost to avoid the follow-on. We came very, very close to getting that. I think we were one run short with six down. Uh, mission tomorrow, I guess, come back, pile runs, hopefully go past them. Yeah, basically, I think, yeah, the way the sort of game's been set up, um, yeah, winning for us was virtually, um, you know, out of the question. So, um, yeah, I think yeah, going in there, as I said last night, it was just a case of batting as well as we could, getting past that follow-on, um, picking up batting, batting bonus points along the way, which thankfully we did. Um, and then, yeah, obviously another run or two, whatever it is in the morning, and then, yeah, try and keep batting as well as we can. Last word on Nathan Fernandez. It's been encouraging this year to see runs around the group pretty much yet around. Um, Nathan himself obviously backed up a magnificent 100 in that second week of the season with another fine 50 here today. He's some prospect. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, he's looked, yeah, looked really promising from, from the get-go. So, yeah, obviously, as you said, great 100 at Northampton. And then, yeah, I think some of his contributions in recent weeks as well um, at some tricky times have been... Um, impressive too. So yeah, he, he looks really good and hopefully he can carry it on. Heavens are now open. That seems to be a decent time to call it a day. So Sam, Sam thanks for joining us and uh, go well tomorrow. Cheers. Thanks, Flash.